60 seconds of insight, Golda Meir famously said, if we have to choose between being dead and pitied or being alive with a bad image, we would choose being alive with a bad image. Unfortunately, history repeats itself yet again because the same thing we faced back then and before the establishment of Israel we're facing today. Again and again, the world is in denial, the world is brainwashed, they're speaking different languages and they don't understand the full story. Why? Because I got a message last week from someone saying what you're doing in Gaza is making you not look good. Do you really think that the victims of the atrocious terror attack on October 7th care how they look? Do you think the people of up north that are dealing with missiles day in, day out, care how they look? Do you really think the people of Tel Aviv that are getting rockets, thousands of rockets, care how they look? It is time the world wakes up because singling out the one and only Jewish nation and preventing them to defend themselves against evil terrorists that out loud declare that they will not stop until every Jew is dead is beyond preposterous. We will continue to fight for our lives despite all the haters out there. When you think about the war between Israel and Hamas, you need to ask yourself a very simple question. If they could, what would they do? If Hamas could kill all Israelis, would they? Would they say they would? They say this is their goal, and they say October 7th is only the beginning. If Israel could kill all Palestinians, would we? Well, we can. You know some of Israel's capabilities, but we're not going to, because our war is not with the Palestinian people, our war is with Hamas. And trust me, I speak on behalf of the vast majority of Israelis. We don't want this war. There is nothing we want more than to get back to our normal and peaceful lives. But if we have to make a decision between fighting this war or going back to our lives and wait for October 7th to happen again, our decision is very easy. We're going to fight this war until we can ensure this never happens again. And I believe that any one of you that values life would have made the same decision. Knowing these two options, if you would have made a different decision or if you have a different idea, please share this with me. Just remember that when you talk about Hamas, you talk of an organization with the most radical jihadist ideology that you simply can't rationalize with. 